Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the basic calculator three problem. Actually, there are three related problems. One is the basic calculator one. We only have the open and the close parentheses, and the plus, minus, and the non-negative integers. In the basic calculator two, we do not have the parentheses, but we have the times and the divide operator. Uh, so in the third question, basic uh, calculator three, we have the parentheses plus minus times divide. So today I just uh, uh, explain the solution to the basic calculator three. Basically, the solutions are the same, so you can use this solution to the previous two problems. So the difficulty is here. Because the parentheses and the, the divide and the times have higher uh, precedence, so we need to uh, calculate them first. Uh, let's see how to calculate this string. As we all know, we should calculate the parentheses first. So basically, we need to calculate for minus 2, and we see this whole expression as 2. So then we calculate 3 times 2, and we return a 5. Then finally, we use the 5 times 2, we get 10. This is the value of this whole expression. As you can see, we first calculate the inner parentheses, so that it has the manner of the depth first search. So this is the idea of this solution. If we meet a parenthesis, we solve it first. Uh, you see the if the current character is an open parenthesis, we just call this function again and return a number. Uh, otherwise, if it's plus minus times divide all the close parentheses, we eagerly calculate the times and divide because they should be calculated first. But if it's the um, plus and the minus, we should delay because if you see it's like 4 plus 3 times 4, we should calculate 3 times 4 first. This is the basic idea. Let's see this example. How to solve it? Because it have the white spaces, so we should first do pre-processing. We should uh, remove the white spaces, and we can use another data structure. I will use Q. The reason is that for the offer and the poll, we have the time complexity of the big O1, which is constant time complexity. If we, I use the string builder, it will be much slower. Then it does not have the white spaces. We just uh, process the string. We iterate from left to right. So when the queue is not empty, we pull a thing from the queue. And we check if it is a number. We will let number times 10. OK, I should uh, explain these four variables. And the, the next is uh, it's, it is necessary to use four variable. You see, when we try to uh, apply an operator to two operands, we need the two numbers, which is the operands. So the first number, I just call it a prev. And for the second number, we just call it a number because we uh, handle it currently. And for uh, it operator, we call it prev operator. The reason is that we should uh, somewhat delay the calculation because if we see the pl uh, plus first, but we see the times afterwards, we should calculate the times first. So we use the prev operator. And we also use a sum, which we need to accumulate the, the sum. 
so you already know the meaning of these four variables. When when the current character is a number, we should use number times ten plus c minus zero. The reason is that maybe the number have more digits, like fifteen. We first miss the the one, so we use number which is zero plus one. And we meet this five again. We use the one times ten, which we get ten plus five. So we get number equal to fifteen. This is a classic solution. You should know that how to handle the many digits. Okay, this is the one case. The second case is if the C is open parentheses. You know that we need to defer search, uh, to calculate the expression in the. Parentheses, and we return a integer that is the number. Okay, then if not these two cases, we now meet a operator or the close parentheses. So we should calculate the previous operator. If pre pref operator is a plus. We let the pref uh, accumulate to the sum, and we let the current number equal to the pref, and we break. If it's a minus sum, we uh, we still let the pref accumulates to the sum, and the pref equal to the negative number, because the maybe we meet the three minus four times three. So we can just use the negative four times three. So we see it as a negative number. If it's the times, we just use the pref times the number because they should calculate first. Uh, if it is a divider, we also divide it and assign the number to the pref. If the c equal to the close parenthesis, we just break. Otherwise, we Let's the pref operator to the current operator, and we reset number to zero. In the end, we return the sum equal to pref. Uh, the reason we use the sum plus pref because in the end, if we do not sum them up, we will miss the pref number. Okay, let's see. Let's see a very Simple example. If we need to calculate three plus two, we use these two uh, four variables, which is the pref number sum and the pre operator. At the beginning, zero equal to zero, and the pre operator is the plus. Actually, it's just like we add a zero plus before this expression. And then we get the number equal to three, so we update it to three. Then we meet the plus. Now we should let the pref plus to the sum, which is still equal to the zero. And this time we update the pref equal to the current number, which is three. And we reset the number to the zero. And the pref operator equal to the uh current operator, which is the plus. So it's plus. And then we meet the number equal to two. If we end here, we will see that pref equal to three, number equal to two, sum equal to zero. If we just return pref plus sum, we cannot get the correct answer. We still need to let the pref sum up to the sum and the number assign the number to the pref. So we the Simple is the way that we add a press holder in the end of the queue. So we handle the last position. We uh sum up this pref to the sum, which is three, and we assign this number to the pref. And in the end, out of this while loop, we just return pre plus sum, which is two plus three equal to five. This is a single a simple example. Let's see another example. If it's three plus four times five, at first it's zero zero zero, and the pre operation just plus. This is in the beginning. Then number equal to three.
meet the plus. So we update prev equal to 3 and the sum still equal to uh, 0. And prev operator equal to the current operator, which is a plus number reset to 0. Then number equal to 4. And they omit the times. In this case, we can let the when we meet the times, we can sum up the prev to the sum. So we get a 3. And we assign the number to the prev, which is a 4. And we reset the number to 0. And the prev operator equal to the current operator, which is the times. And then number equal to 5. They're still the same. And uh, in the end, we have a placeholder. So we still need another calculation. As the prev operator is a times, so we eagerly calculate prev times the number, which is um, 4 times 5, we get 20, and the sum still equal to 3. So in the end, out of this while loop, we return prev plus sum, which is 23. So let's see how exactly the call stack works. We see this example. This is our queue. We add a placeholder, which I use a white space. We first call this help function. We parse this queue as a parameter. And then we meet the open parentheses. We will call another function. At first, prev is 0, prev operator is plus, sum equal to 0, number equal to 0. Then we call this function again. So this is a local variable. At first, a zero. Prev the a prev operator plus some zero number zero. We made a three, so we update number. Uh, sorry, it's here. <laughs> we update the number to the three, and then, then we made the uh plus sign. Then we update zero plus prev equal to three. Then we meet the open parentheses again. Then we will call this help function again. We pass the rest of the queue as a parameter. Then this is the local variable of this function. So it's the same at first. Then we meet this 4. So we update the number to the 4. The same color means they are at the same uh, update. Then we meet the minus, right? This minus. Then this is 2. The number will equal to 2. And there, as the, we meet the close parentheses, uh, and the prev operator is negative. So the prev will equal to the negative 2. Uh, and the as is close parentheses, we break this while loop. Then we just return the sum plus prev, which equal to 2. So this whole function will return a 2. So that will be 2. Then we'll keep a uh, uh, handle the rest of this queue. Then we meet this close parentheses again. Uh, it return the number equal to 2, right? Then we will calculate again because this prev operator is equal to plus um, we sum the prev to the sum which is equal to 3 and uh, the prev will equal to the number will equal to 2 and uh, as is a close parenthesis we out this while loop and we finally return the 3 times 2 which is equal to 5 so this uh, whole function returns 5 so we will return 5 here. Uh, we see these variables. We just return number equal to 5. Then we meet the times operator. So we update these four variables. Prev equal to this number will equal to 5. Prev operator will equal to times. Sum will equal to 0. And uh, this number will reset to 0. And we meet these two. So number will equal to 2. And finally, we meet the placeholder, which is the white space. So we will calculate, the, we will apply this prev operator to the prev 
and the, the uh song. Uh, uh so sorry, it's time. So we apply the times to the prev and the number. So we get ten. So prev equal to ten, and we out this while loop. We return the prev plus sum, which equal to ten. So wipe up. There, there are some tips. First, do not forget to add one more placeholder in the end, because if we do not add the placeholder, we will delay. Because we first calculate uh, as one uh, operator delay, so in the end we should also have a placeholder to calculate uh, again. Um, so for these two operator with. We somewhat delay one step, and when we meet this negative, which is the minus sign, we apply to the number. If we meet the times and divide, we will equally calculate them. If we meet the open parentheses, we do the deferred search, and when we meet the close parentheses, we just return a number. So finally, we will return the sum plus pref number. Okay, let's write the code. We will use a Q. That will be correct character. Then I will use a array deck. Then for every char in the S2 char array, if the C not equal to the Y space, we will Q off that C. Uh, in the end, we need to add a placeholder. And finally, we return helper calculate this Q. So private return a uh, int and helper that will be a Q. Uh, a R A C T R Q. So when the uh, full variable one is number equal to zero, and the brief equal to zero, and the sum equal to zero, and also the brief operator equal to the plus. So while this queue is not empty, we pull a C from the queue. Uh, the easy, a simplest case, if the C is greater or equal than zero and the C is less or equal than nine, a number will equal to number times 10 plus C minus zero. Else, if the C equal to the open parentheses, the number will equal to helper. Uh, calculate the rest of the queue. Otherwise, we switch. Switch. Uh, switch the brief operator. Uh, one case, if it's the plus, we sum the brief to the sum, and the brief will equal to current number, and then we break. If case equal to minus, the sum will also plus the brief, and the brief will equal to negative number, and we break. Case times, we equally calculate it. Brief times number, and we break. Case divide, brief divide number, break. If the C equal to the close, Parentheses, we just break. Otherwise, we need to operate, uh, update the brief operator to the current C, and the number reset to zero. In the end, we return the brief plus sum. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.